I personally believe that if I give you a fish, it's not as beneficial as teaching you how to fish. Today's introduction is going to be on several videos that are related to C to C in doing graph gam work. You know the pictures when doing corner to corner, that's what we're going to be discussing today. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to quickly talk about it and then we're going to do a walkthrough of the pattern itself on screen and then I'm going to leave you to be able to fish. So we have a video on how to do corner to corner in the graph GAN format, reading the graphs, making the graphs, and also doing color changing and being able to do all of that. So that video has been around a long time and I used my friend Sarah from Repeat Cracker Me as an example to be able to do it with a teddy bear. That video is actually widely used and there's a lot of kudos on it and I think it's almost the standard when it comes to this. So what we have is over the years is Yarnspirations has presented as several patterns, like tons of patterns in C to C format. And the problem with the C to C format is that, you know, I could show you row by row and changing the colors on a particular pattern, but I find that people will say to me, you know, I wish you would have done a reindeer instead of a bear, or I wish you would have done a lighthouse instead of something else. And so for me as a tutorial host, it gets very difficult to be able to comply with those kind of requests because the fact is, is that once you understand how to do these graphs or even make these graphs, it's basically up to your own story of what you wanna complete. So I'm going to refer to that video in the video description if you would like to access that because that is where you can learn to fish instead of just eating fish. And therefore, even on your inspirations, the crochet crowd, uh, repeat craft with me, for example, you can find these graphs and basically run to town if this is a concept that is in of interest to you. We are seeing more and more pop art when it comes to the corner to corner that you'll see here uh, on our selection. So in the more information of the video, not only is the video on learning how to do this concept also there, but you're going to see a whole whack of other patterns that are available where the graphs are already done for you. So that's really quite exciting. So without further ado, I'm going to talk specifically about the pattern that was showcased in the thumbnail and we're going to walk through each one of those and currently on my list I have 22 of those and so each one of those will be a different video and this is the same introduction. What we have here is the Bernat C2C crochet dino blanket and you can see it's the shape of a brontosaurus that's on here and the baby's clearly crawling all over it. So this is the Bernat baby blanket yarn so it's exceptionally soft and plush and from a down perspective that you see in the small photograph it's a really neat concept. It's not overly detailed and, and that's the great thing about this. It's more the the image or the the silhouette of the dinosaur in the in the background. So let's take a look at the pattern itself. It is a C2C regular format that you have. It's nicely done with the quick border. And what we have is we go down, you can see the different um, diagram that is available to you. That's just the regular format. And so you'll start off in the corner and you'll work your way across uh, on a diagonal back and forth that you can see and eventually you'll hit the pieces of the dinosaur and then you'll end up all the way to the top here. So it's a really neat concept. It's not overly complicated and it's kind of fun. Dinosaurs seem to be in trend uh, for 2022, 2023 as the projections. So it's something that is kind of special and is something that's kind of timeless, I suppose you can say. So this is the C2C Dino Crochet Blanket. 